Welcome to the Socialize Your Drupal Site in 5 Easy Steps tutorial. In this quick video, I'll show you how to integrate your Drupal website with essential social media sites using some pretty cool new modules. Here we see a standard Drupal website, not very social. The fastest way to socialize it is to install the Social Media and Widgets modules. I'm going to go ahead and do that using the Social Media app from the Level 10 app server, but you can also download these modules from Drupal.org. Once our apps list pops up, I go down and click on the Social Media app. Then I simply can go ahead and click on Enable App. Now it's going to automatically download all the modules and dependencies I need from Drupal.org and other places. Once the downloads are complete, it puts me into a setup wizard where I can start entering my profile information. So I can go ahead and put in my Twitter account information. And I don't need to put in usernames for any type of URL that uh, the module can extract the username from the URL. So I don't need to put one in for Twitter. Put in my Facebook. I don't want to use Flickr, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. Go ahead and put in my Google+. Plus. Now Google+, Plus, it can extract a keyword term, so I'm going to have to go in and put an account name. Put in my LinkedIn. Same thing here, it can't extract a name from there, so I'm going to have to put one in manually. I'm going to skip SlideShare and Vimeo, and I'm going to go ahead and finish out with YouTube. Go ahead and click Save Profiles. Next, it takes me to a page with the five profiles I put in, which ones do I want to include links to in my block of profile icons. I'm going to go ahead and leave all five of these and just proceed to the next page. Now I'm looking at a set of icons I can select for sharing content. So this is going to show up on nodes and will allow me to share content with things like stumbled upon, will allow me to tweet out and so forth. I actually really kind of like the full list, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Or maybe I want to check off a few, like no one really uses MySpace anymore. Maybe I want to check off Technorati, and I can go ahead and click uh, save. I also have this other set of counter buttons I could use if I wanted to. I'm just going to use the regular icons and I'm just going to go ahead and click Save. Now we see here our profile links, our sharing links, and we've got two other sets of widgets. Our Facebook like box and our profile box, which I put in our level 10 information so we're seeing um, the people from our level 10 Facebook page and tweets coming from our Twitter account. And over here it selects where we want these things to go. Uh, put my put my profile set in the header, that seems fine. Really all of these are fine. I may want to open this up and select certain content types that I want to put our sharing widgets on, but I'm just going to leave it as a sidebar second for now. Go ahead and click Save. And now instantly all of these widgets have been placed around our page. Up here are our profile links, so I can go ahead and click on those. And I'm taken over to our Facebook page. Here, if I want to share this piece of content, um, I can simply click on, if I say, for example, I want to share it in Twitter, I can click on that link, and the person can put in their information and share uh, that piece of information by tweeting out about it. Down here, we see we've got our Facebook and our Twitter profile. It's a little bit wide. I can go ahead and clean that up if I want to. But basically, we've got all of our apps on here. So you see how easy it is to connect your site into the world of social media with just a few clicks. In this video, we only looked at the setup wizard. The social media and widgets module offer a lot of additional customizations. So go ahead and check them out and you'll be well on your way to building a social website.